There are a lot of challenges these days when grocery shopping, because there are so many products available, so many processed foods available, so many things that are touting different nutritional benefits that, and, and, you know, it's hard to navigate that. It's hard to know, is this really giving me what it promises or, you know, is it just marketing? Um, the number one thing when going into a grocery store is you're usually always going to find the foods that are the lowest in calories and have the highest nutritional benefit on the perimeter of the grocery store. You know, that's typically where you'll find fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, you know, usually in the back, your freezer section of uh, proteins, like your fresh chicken breast and turkey breast and things like that. Um, if you are doing a quick shop and you want to try to avoid uh, the urge to just pick up something, usually that's your best bet is go around the perimeter and leave the store. Um, but if you are going through the center part and looking at the processed foods, it is important to understand how to read a nutrition facts label and understand what you're really getting. Um, besides the, the nutrition facts, you also always want to read the ingredients. You know, if there are tons of ingredients and you don't know half of them, you probably don't want to be buying that product. Um, if there's a short list of ingredients and you know what you're getting, then you can read the nutrition facts and see if if that's a product that you want to be getting. Um, you want to look at total calories. You want to look at the serving size that's being recommended because sometimes in a bag of chips it might say 100 calories per serving and you think, oh, well, that's okay as a snack. But then you look at what the serving size is and it's five chips and you say, well, I would probably eat 25. Well, then that's probably not such a good thing for you to be eating and you can find one that's better. Um, other than the total calories, you want to look at the grams of fat. How many grams out of the total grams of fat are saturated? How many are unsaturated or, or trans fats? You want to avoid anything that, that provides you with trans fats. And you want to limit the saturated fat as much as possible. When you see the percentages on the right side of a nutrition facts label, what they're doing is telling you the percentage out of an average 2,000 calorie diet um, based on what the government is recommending that you get. So say the saturated fat means 15 percent, you know, that's not necessarily 15 percent of your diet. Again, that's the 2,000 calorie diet. So if you're um, a petite woman who maybe needs 1,400 calories per day, well then, you know, that ratio is going to be a lot different for you. So you always want to focus more on the grams than the percentage that's on the right side.